Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And today we are finally going to be doing the long awaited doll room update. The reason I haven't done it is because I started a project ah, and I could not go get the shelves to complete the project. So the doll room's just kind of been in limbo. There's been these big tables holding things, but my mom got me the new shelves that we needed for this. Thank you so much to my mother. So I have three more of this style shelf in black. So we're going to be putting the black ones here. And then the white one will be going where that rainbow high house is. And then we'll figure that out later. And then this rainbow high house here. I don't know if I'm going to have it like there yet or if I'm going to have it jutting out again. It was jutting out before. But as you can see, this area <laughs> is a disaster. And I've already been prettying this up just now so you know it's pretty bad it's just because i'm constantly using rainbow high dolls for videos and this area just ended up stacking things in so i'm fully removing these tables so i stopped stacking things here and because my filming area is on this side of the room which is bad right now you'll see you'll get the vision i hope um so right before my mom gets here we are just going to be rearranging the dolls fixing this up because look at this this is legit because I just removed them for videos and then I like I love carrying them around the house so it just turns into a disaster so we're gonna fix it now we're gonna fix it now yes okay there's certain areas of my doll room where the dolls just get so much traffic I guess like I play with them so much that it just never is maintained it always looks like a disaster so I'm really hoping I can actually maintain this but no promises but I'm actually like really working hard to make sure it it looks good and I will be inspired to continue making it look good. I just love this area. I'm constantly rearranging it because I just love, love, love Rainbow High so much. So here's how it's going. One of my plans is to take these down because they don't fit. Like, unfortunately, the boxes don't look that cute on display anymore. So those are coming down. Um, I do have some inbox stuff storage for ones that I absolutely want to keep back here behind this dollhouse that could change i don't know and then others are mixed into the display as you can see i just don't want this one to block michelle so she's there um but this is going to be our rainbow of characters that's not going to change eventually as rainbow high continues to build i think we're gonna have to sit them and then because there's been so many re-releases of series one and other characters that's what this shelf is going to be i had that for shadow high because i had restyles and stuff that was here but i moved it and i've got banner displays for a lot of these i just need two more Rainbow High specific ones to fill in that area, and it will look super cute just as they continue to come out. And then that's our special edition shelf. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, and Runway will go here because that makes more sense. And then like Shadow High, I've got that Luna there, the Sunny, you know. And then Pacific Coast is at the bottom. They're never continuing. I like those dolls, but I'm going to eventually have doubles of each one, which I have in box. Actually, I'm probably going to unbox them maybe i'm still deciding um that i'll be restyling so that they can be here this is just supposed to be one of every character from rainbow high shadow high will be mixed into the appropriate areas for them it's getting kind of weird with shadow high though i might need a rainbow for them i don't know we'll see and then costume ball is one of my favorite lines and it was a very special moment in my life so i put her there i've got some special dolls there those are error dolls i've got prototype there well prototype outfit there on um, stella and then this is merch this is more merch, and I put the Series 2 girlies here because I have the Junior High pack here, and then also a lot of Series 2 merch going on on this shelf. These are the weird multi-packs, and then the Neon Shadow girlies are performing here because this shelf just so happens to be tall enough. It's very convenient. This is just the closet. I don't know. I might take that off display because I could use that for something better. But this blocks so much that it's good to have something random that I don't really need to be able to see on display there. It's more of like a play spot. And yeah, I still got to work through this pile. I'm always piling stuff and I need to stop myself from doing that. And then the cheer display won't be blocked by this table, just so you know, the tables are leaving as soon as I have the LOL dolls on the shelves that are going to go here. So I might move Bratz over a little bit and then put LOLs on one unit here. And then Monster High will be probably the rest of the wall. Very, very excited to get Monster High rehoused because these shelves just, they don't work for them. I'd like them to be kind of more like however after high is here so they're going to be on that shelf basically so yeah i will update you guys whenever i can you guys i just didn't think i just assumed it would kind of fit but unfortunately uh this perfect and then i'm removing the shelf because this is just not a good display for monster high and i'm gonna put another one here but then there's gonna be like a weird hole 
here. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I could get one of these. I think one of these would fit, but I would need another one. And I don't know if these come in black and Ikea is really far away, but we'll do something. We'll figure something out. I do have the Bratz World Mansion, so we could like prop up the Bratz World Mansion and have something under there. We will see. I do anticipate having a new Bratz display soon. Stay tuned. Um, I don't know. I don't know. See, it's just the store displays. I love them. Of course, I'm not complaining about them, but they make it really, really hard to predict and have a good setup going. Oh, and I'm probably moving that Bratz shelf. Probably. Because I don't really like how it's a white shelf and then turns to the black shelves. But it kind it's kind of cute because it's going to be Monster High. So I don't know. Oh, but I might move Bratz over onto one of the black shelves because OMG needs to go here. But I think OMG would look better on the white shelves and that fits better with the Rainbow High. You know? Oh my god, look how cute this corner looks. Wait. That's so cute. Oh, also, I don't really want to show you because that dollhouse is full of things. But I made a double-decker dollhouse inspired by Angel. I'll show you later. Um, but yeah, still working on this. Got a lot going on. Oh, and I removed the Pacific Coast dolls from there, and I just need to put something else there. Probably runway friend of mine. No, she doesn't fit. That's That was the issue with her. I guess the Poopsie Surprise doll that's in box can go up there. And probably the ones that are out of box, too. And then the Runway Rush PR kit is up there, too, because it was blocking that, and I didn't like that. I need to re-glue that because it came off, and then... That looks bad, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah. It this corner looks so good. I'm so happy with this. But Bratz is almost certainly moving. So yeah. And now I have a near complete OMG collection, by the way. If you weren't there for that, uh here's the here's some of them. The other ones are under the desk right now, but you can't tell. Um someone sent me a ton of them, and most of them got sent for like as gifts to well, my friends, well, it's going to happen. <laughs> They're going to be sent. I've, like, moved them around. Um, but these are the ones that are staying in my collection, which is super cool because I did not have... I was missing a lot of OMGs, as you can see. These are the ones that I was missing. So really excited to add these to my collection. I have a bunch of inbox that I need to unbox, too. But a lot of the inbox ones are getting sent to my friends. But anyway, so now making an OMGs display is going to be a lot easier because, like, before I had a lot of missing ones. So... Yeah, I just have to decide how lazy I am because I really don't want to move the brats because they look so good here. Excuse this. I'm there's a lot going on at once right now, so there's a lot of random things stacked about. Um, but we're we're getting there. It's gonna look so good. I just I was so sick of not having open flooring because I like to have just big open spaces. I like to have super cluttered walls, but I want the the floor space to be open. I don't know how to explain. You'll see once we're done. Once these tables are out of here, this this room will be very like open despite having. What, like $2,000 on display? I don't know how many are on display. I know I have like over $3,000 or something. I, I need to count. Um, but I don't know how many are actually on display because counting's a lot. People always ask me to do it, but I'm like, I want to wait until the displays are done before I do all that. Uh, and then here too, I'm going to be putting more of these. I don't have a lot, unfortunately. I grabbed as many as I could find from Target, but because like this is just a waste of space and there's a bunch of brats that aren't on display, like the 2015s. So 2015s will be bottom shelf and 2010s just because I don't have a lot of them. So putting them up here would be kind of a waste of space, but we'll work something out. And then I also have these shelves that I could use as well. So yeah, because I moved that dollhouse because I made a double decker. And then I have this. I don't really know what to do with this piece. This like Rainbow High barn that I have now. But it's looking good. I'm very happy with this. Sorry, no time lapses. I just built the shelf. So I'm going to build more. Transferring Monster High over is going to be an ordeal it's gonna be so much and then unfortunately too we're not gonna be able to push them all the way this way because of the shape of this shelf which is fine I love this shelf but it is kind of frustrating I'm trying to work something out I do kind of want to just put another one of these shelves this way because then that justifies having the dollhouse here but and that would actually fit that'd be great it would fix our problem but then there's like this weird depth here but I guess that would be a good storage spot like a little secret storage place I don't know I don't know but we'll It'll come together, I know it will, this Claudine fell. <laughs> I am so glad I did the time lapse for this part because this is so satisfying putting the Bratz dolls up. I don't know why. Um, but I'm basically just moving them over exactly as they were, except I'm trying to squeeze them in a little bit more and add in a few more from different shelves just to really get the display more cramped, which honestly, I really like how that looks. It's not just me doing that because I have a lot of dolls. I really like super eclectic cramped displays. 
Next, we're doing the OMGs, and I was so, so excited to build this display. I have been for months because somebody actually sent me basically every OMG doll that I was missing. So now I have a nearly complete collection. I think I'm missing two or three right now. Uh, so I'm super grateful for that. And the other ones are getting sent to a bunch of other collectors all over the world. So that's going to be super cool and you know, just setting them up. Okay, so here is the update. And I'm really excited because I've had an OMG store display for a minute. and Or actually, it's a tweens one. So now it can go up there super cute very very excited how that's gonna look so the theming is these are series one two three and then like opposites club is kind of series four right so um and then i'm probably gonna move them i don't know i feel like they aren't fitting but they're so cute probably move them up there that's where fierce is gonna go and then down here we've got the winter ones the lights ones and then remix will go here and i still haven't moved those brats over because i just need to find a couple more of these black risers, I think. I do have white, but I want them to kind of match. And I know I have more, but what I always do, my toxic trait, is that I'll just remove them from another shelf and ruin that display. But I'm like, I'm working on this display. It's fine. So I'm trying not to do that. I did do it a little bit for those. But it was My Little Pony displays that didn't have ponies on them because I'm redoing that display too. Someday you'll get to see that. Also, I need to take this off. I didn't realize this was here. Hmm. I bought this shelf used, so I guess whoever built this didn't take that off. Whatever. I'll figure that out later. Um, but yeah, it's looking cute. And then Bratz is looking awesome too. I really like the more full display. Just adding some of the ones from up there really helped make that look really good. And then that display was already super full of it. Like it was, it was already there. And then down there, I'm going to try to cram like all the rest of them. So this is what's annoying with displaying Bratz is if you don't have like cube shelving, there's a lot of themes that are very specific. Like Sleepover dolls look weird next to rodeo dolls, but I don't really have a lot of rodeo dolls, and I don't have a lot of sleepover dolls. And then Treasures is its own whole thing, and you've got, like, Tokyo Agogo. -Go. And I love these themes, but it's weird to try to build a display with them, if that makes sense. So I kind of did something with it. Like, these girls are a good sleepover-ish transitional stage. I don't know. So, like, the dolls down here, like, Rock Angels and stuff, they genuinely, I do not know where to display those, like, how to display those. But we'll figure it out. I still have to pop the Bratz display up. Very excited, actually, because I was thinking, I just got a Never After High display. I'm so excited. I'll show it to you, hopefully, in this video. But if not, it'll be in the next one. So that Monster Eye display is over there simply because this was too tall for it. But now that we're moving Monster High onto a different shelf, I realized that we can put all of that over here, which means Ever After High can be popped up. So a bunch of Ever After High dolls can go up here. And then that means we have a whole new shelf to utilize over here, which is very exciting yay and that means monster high will like make more sense because right now it's kind of weird being there Ooh, the, the lighting um it's kind of weird where it is right now so it'll it'll be all here basically what with the lighting it's gonna be great i'm very very excited about how this is going this has been a, like a big change i've been wanting to do and it's gonna make it a lot better also i'm not super bothered by that white shelf being there like i think i think it looks good i'm i'm not mad at it and then potentially, oh, and when I built the shelf, I didn't put that middle thingy in because you don't really have to unless you're putting something super heavy on it. I mean, we'll see when the shelf falls apart, but um, I just put it on the back and not putting it on the front really helped. And I have a couple that are like that somewhere. I thought I did. I don't know. Looks a lot better. <laughs> now I'm just going to have these weird metal poles lying around, but it's fine. Um, and then I'm kind of toying with the idea of having a shelf jet here that can be like Brat slash other doll expansion and then also that'll solve our issue because I just don't want a shelf like jutting out here, but it'll kind of work. We'll see. We'll have to play around with it a little bit, but I have two more of these shelves to go. So exciting. Very exciting. Maybe we'll push all of these shelves over and put the rainbow high houses here. Maybe. And then this white shelf would go over where the rainbow high houses are now, but OMG always kind of ended up over there and it made it where they were like in a weird spot that didn't work for them. So I don't really want to do that again, but we'll see. We will see. I'm also kind of nervous because I don't know where the tweens are going to go because the shelf's almost done. We're we're pretty close to done. This is what we have left for OMGs. It's these and then the ones that are in there. So again, Remix will go there and then I guess some of the Hollywood ones, whatever they're called, Movie Magic, I don't know. And then that's going to be like randoms, but I don't want tweens on the bottom, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. Also, I can still prop some favorites up there. Because right now it's just Fierce and the Special Edition ones. Still don't have Crystal Star though, but someday I will find her. Oh my god, this Chloe. What happened to you? <laughs> I just kind of popped those over really fast. I haven't 
figured out what I'm going to do yet. So yeah, that's the update. All right, you guys, I am back. I've been working pretty slowly, but as you can see, I've transferred these brats over. I've just been playing with them. I've been having fun. I also put a bunch of them on stands. Still need a couple more stands for some, uh, but this is what we're looking at. It looks great. I'm very, very happy with the progress. Still some space for growth, but again, with the theming, like I decided to put rock angels here, but I don't know. They look weird there, especially that Roxy, but that's not because of the theming. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe Rock Angels would be better over there. I just kind of wanted treasures near, I don't know. Um, and then Wintertime Wonderland, I have them. They're just not out. And then I kind of want them near them. Never is just there. Don't worry about it. And I have some more boxed ones. I don't know. It's a bit complicated. I think they just need a little bit more space, but, and they might get it. We'll see. Cause I might be putting a shelf here that juts out to give Monster High a nice little U-shaped display. Just depends, because I don't want to interrupt the light of the room any more than it already is, and I do want a big open space. But this area will be a pretty big open space, even if I do put a jutting shelf here, so we'll see. We will see. Um, and then OMGs, I don't think anything changed, except I did notice that I put <laughs> Kitty K over there. I was originally going to put Remix there, but then I was like, wait, oh, yeah. Um, and I can't find my Cosmic Nova right now. I have no idea where she is. It's weird. Um, but these are the OMGs that are left. There's a few more over there, though. Um, so we're almost done with the OMGs. Still haven't figured out where the tweens are gonna go, unfortunately. But it's looking really cute. It's looking good. And I just want to see if I like this as much as I liked the brat. Yeah, see, because the... I thought it would be better because brats have pretty subdued colors, as do... Well, Monster High is pretty bright, but, you know, there's a lot of subdued colors that I can kind of trend this way. So, like... <laughs> You've got the super bright colors with Rainbow High and OMG here, and then it will transition into Bratz, which is much more subdued. And then Monster High is just here because it's here. And yeah, I'm very, very excited. It's looking good, looking good. Still need to figure out what the top shelf is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be the Fear Stalls and the like special ones, but that's not gonna take up the whole display. And my store display for the tweens is actually like a very small banner display from God, what was it, Macy's or Kohl's? I think it was Macy's. So, but that that gives me room for if I ever do find a cool OMG display that I want, which I have seen them. I just have never successfully been able to be like, hey, can I have that? And then actually got a yes. So someday, I'm sure. But that's what it's looking like. This is a little too enticing. Yeah, Lego is very excited today. <laughs> um, so, oh, I need more risers. <laughs> what? You need more risers? I actually have plenty of risers, but I specifically want these stair-steppy ones because um, OMGs are kind of big. Like, they have big stands. So if you use, like, I like to make stair-steppy risers out of these sorts of things, which I do have plenty of right now. But if I do that, then I can't really get a good front row going. Oh, my God. I dropped Virtual's earring earlier. I need to remember to put it back on. I had found it in with the Brat dolls. Yeah, okay. Good night. Lego, come on. All right, y'all. So I built another shelf and I put it in place. And as you can see, a lot of Monster High dolls fell. Please excuse them. Uh, this is the amount of space that's left. So this shelf's width plus a little more. So that's not going to fit another shelf. I don't even think it would fit one of those thin ones like I was kind of thinking to get. So my current plan is to build the other one of these and have it jut out here. And then that gives me Bratz growth room and Monster High growth room because they can kind of be on each side of that. And then that still gives me a lot of stuff over there. Um, it gives me a ton of space for like, whatever. I just want to have big open space. I like it. Um, and just a little bit of jet out because truly when these jet out, they don't go that far. Like they go that far when they're up against the wall. So actually not bad. Um, also, I don't know how far we're going to get in this video. Like we're probably towards the end because I don't have a lot of risers. So I have what the monster heidels are on, but you need more because you can fit three rungs here. Well, monster high is a bit different, probably two. We'll see. We'll see. But I am happy with this. And now we need to get that so we can put the Ever After High display up, which will probably be next video when you guys get to see that and get to see the full vision with the Monster High dolls. But I don't know how long that's going to be because I got to order a lot of risers. Got to close these curtains too. Um, yeah, I haven't put the glass on this yet because I'm still shuffling. I need to move this out, but it's covered in Monster High dolls. So yeah, I'm probably going to put the glass on this and then stack these guys on it, move that over, and then put the jetting one here and just see what we think. Which sucks because that means I have to build the other one right now, which I kind of didn't want to do, but it's okay. We got this. We're going to end today's video on a kind of a cliffhanger because uh, everything kind of fell apart. As you can see, the brat stalls have fallen. 
I mean, it's mostly fine. Uh, oh, by the way, I did quite a bit over here. It's hard to tell, but I was messing with the rainbow, doing all that, you know. Um, and I added some more LOLs. And then Brad's hasn't changed other than the catastrophe that befell us. And then I put this here, and let me show you from afar. I like it. I don't know. I, I feel like it gives Monster High its own cute little nook. And what's going to be cool about this to me, I mean, I was kind of worried about G3 running out of space, so that kind of solves the problem. They can have a little bit more space. But look, there's this little gap here. And at first I was like, that's really annoying. I hate that. I want to prevent that, if at all possible. But look, I can put that Monster High house that I can't stand because it's hard to display. Uh, I think it's the catacombs place that I don't actually remember. Um, it's either the Monster High just school or the catacombs. It's not the folding school. But anyway, that playset is like horrible if you're trying to display it. But anyway, I can put it here. And then this can be a very deep display for things on the other side, which I think that would honestly just be a good storage spot. Sorry, that's the packing paper I'm stepping on. Um, and Monster High looks like a disaster because I had them on their old shelf, which is over there now. But they kept falling off, so I deposited them here. So what we're going to do is now Bratz has more space to grow or something else can go there that's not Bratz. We will see. Honestly, my scene would be so good here, but I really like my scene where it is. And that, I mean, I don't have enough Mycene dolls to justify the entire shelving unit here. They would get like two or three shelves. Um, but I'm thinking like if I ever get any of the Mycene play sets, they need a top spot. And I'm running out of space for Barbie. That's a big thing that I'm trying to fix with this um, doll room update. I haven't showed you yet, but I put the old shelves that were on that other wall here for Barbie. Um, so I've been kind of working on that, but it's been slow because it's just... It's a bit awkward. I like these here, but the way I have the display right now is not functional. But anyway, my scene's kind of there, which is weird because see Disney. Uh, and it would be great if I could get all the Disney stuff that's kind of bleeding over here and move it over here and then kind of have Barbara and everybody here, including these holiday Barbies that kind of just do not fit there. And then my scene could move. Maybe I'm thinking about it. I kind of put fashion fever here so my scene would blend more naturally. I don't know. But I do need more space for some doll lines. Like you can see, I'm kind of changing things up. I've been slowly doing things. Also, there's just places that I put dolls <laughs> sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's how things are going. We're ending on a kind of messy note, but next doll room update, I think we're going to make like huge progress. We're, I mean, this is huge progress. I've been waiting months to be able to finally redo this wall, and I love this. It looks so much better. There's so many more dolls on display. The display makes more sense. We're actually going to be able to get the store displays up here, and look how gorgeous this is going to look. Again, I need another... That display was a little bit smaller than I thought it was, but it's so cute. Um, so we need a much larger display to go here. Someday I'll find one, I'm sure. There's plenty of OMG displays out there. Um, so we've got the Rainbow High ones, and then we'll have OMG, Bratz, the Big uh, Barbie, or um, the Big Monster High one. I also have the Mycene one that never gets to be on display. I mean, it is on display, but can you even see it? No, you can't. It's stuck to the door back there. You just really can't see it. Um, the, the door I don't use. So the train's going by, of course, always when I'm filming. So that would be cute. That would be really cute, actually. Just thinking about it. Just thinking about it. We'll see. I'll probably completely change everything by the time the next video starts. We will have to see. I think definitely by the time the next video goes up, I will have finished this rainbow just off camera. Because I'm working on it. It's just kind of weird because with doubles, I'm not sure how I want them displayed. I think some of them are going to go in that dollhouse over there, which is looking like a bus. Um, but oh, some doubles are going to be here because, like... Winter Break Violet, for example. Regular Violet, eh, she'll be over there when I get her out again. I'm fixing her bangs. Um, but Winter Break Violet's my favorite one, so that's why she's there. Well, I don't know. Um, and then Runway will go here, but also like other doubles that I think are cute or go together. Uh, Luna's not supposed to be there. <laughs> um, and then there's gonna be some doubles here wearing the Winter Break outfits. I need to hurry up and finally actually dress it, my doubles in the extra Winter Break outfits. Like it's been a thousand years. And then, oh, I put the Junior High Series 2 girlies here. And river i guess <laughs> and then i might demote those guys a little bit and put them down a little bit more because i think that would be a good spot for some shadow high i'm i'm needing more space for shadow high because i don't like that shadow high is just there because we have like shadow high series one two and three and before i just had series one and two there but where's three gonna go like and then that's not the same as rainbow high so i think i want to make like a little shadow high rainbow but i'm not really sure where i'm gonna do it and i want them to have their own like nice dedicated area so i might move winter break actually that'd be a good idea 
because right now the rainbow is kind of awkward and I could have like pink ending here. We'll see. We will see. I do have an extra of Mara, thankfully. You can see her there. So that's, that's our big pink one. <laughs> Although we did just get a bunch of pink and purple in the newest wave, the Shadow High Series 3. Um, and then my extra out of, or my extra inbox doubles are now showing, which I do want them on display, but they just, they don't, they don't condense and look gorgeous like this. So yeah, that is it for this doll room update. It's been a while. I'm sorry. It's just, I've been making progress. I, I put up the fan art wall finally. I'll show you that in the next video probably. Um, and I've been messing with lots of areas of the doll room and you guys have noticed, I've been asking about it in the comments and I'm not, not showing you for any particular reason. It's just, I would film like 10 minutes of doll room update footage and then it would be months later and I would delete the footage because I was like, I'm never going to post this. And then that just kept happening. So yeah, you'll see it. It's coming and all the big changes will actually be recorded this time. I promise I will update you. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited for what's to come in the doll room. For all this time, bye.